Chris Classic 2016s Uh, first of all, I'm a New York nigga New kicks, new chicks, and new fitty You could put me anywhere, I'ma kick it 125th G depth, let's get it I hate when niggas say you make real hip hop I will still fuck your bitch in Gucci flip flops The problem is if I say anything intelligent You call it conscious like it's somehow not relevant I agree that this ain't really for KOD But say la vie out the bows in the SUV On my way to the black Oscars The late Oscar grand is getting on it Somebody tell Ryan Coogler he's a monster And Magic and Jordan will be the sponsors The great Quincy Jones will pick the artist For the Robert Glasper Ensemble Oh look it's the LeBron sipping on our mom With the Simmons and the Carters and Obamas Alright let me not get your hopes up The joke's up Got you niggas nervous like the ropes up Yeah 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 Welcome to the Misfits of Comedy Podcast It is your host CD Charles in the house I have my guest Mr. Ivory Corley, what's going on, my brother? Yay, yay. Oh, man, I've been standing over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all can hear me? Okay. All right, I'm going to hear clown, and they can't even hear me. All right, there it is. All right, there you Don't go. put it up too close to my mouth. This is Atlanta. I don't like stuff. You know, niggas is watching too. Like, yeah, I was you know waiting what I'm to hey, see. You nigga about to deep throat this <laughs> microphone. This is. I knew it. Yeah, I knew a nigga was holding that. Uh, you got to be careful in Atlanta, man. I don't smoke the wrong cigars or nothing. They, oh, shit. they got these big cigars. I went to the cigar bar the other day. I ain't lying. They got these big the cigars. Big ass yeah. You got to hold them bitches with two hands. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hell no. That's the reason. I why I do hookah. That hookah shit weird to me. I don't know, man. I don't know about that hookah neither, I don't man. That shit. I can't do that. Hookah. Something about two guys doing hookah, man. They, Just, they pass the shit on me like, mm. yeah, you want that? You got next? You don't want, you don't want that? You got your own stick. That's just like an octopus dick. You just want, you want, you don't want to hit on it real quick. Yeah, I'm good on the hookah, man. It's even weirder when niggas have it at their house. Like, so you just do this shit at home. So yeah, too? just sitting around, just sucking on shit all night, huh? Fuck you, weirdo. Got you, homie. I got you. You gotta watch his ass. I don't suck on nothing. I don't do straws, bananas, <laughs> lollipops, none of that shit. I, I that eat my shit. hot dog sideways, <laughs> like corn on the cob. Man. I just. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> Slice my shit up real quick, you know what I mean? How long you been doing comedy, bro? Oh, man, you know what? It's actually my 10-year anniversary. It's today, bro. How about that? All right. Look at that, look at that that's, that's that double-digit veteran status right there. Hey, I'm man, man. Sir, it's, congrats, it's been a congrats. grind, brother. It's only, you know what I'm saying? I say I've been doing it, like, hard, going hardcore probably over the last five years. Okay. I've been doing a lot of, you know. Okay. It was okay. an experiment 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. It was a hobby, so. Then, so now you, you all in, all invested. Where you from, bro? From, I am from, you know what I'm saying? I'm from up top. Actually, I'm from way down low in Aiken, South Carolina, man. I'm okay. born and raised in Aiken, South Carolina. I'm a okay. small town head. I don't know if y'all heard of that before. It's right outside of Augusta, yeah, Georgia. Yeah, 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 you know. Well, a friend of the friend of the show, cousin to the show. Uh, uh, Randy Sky, she comes on here often. Yeah, that's so Randy. That's up, my girl. That's South the homie. Carolina person. Yep, yeah, yep, she yep. from Charleston though. She over there by the, by the water and you know all that stuff. The good, you know? the good seafood. Yeah, yeah. You know they put a root on you too. You gotta watch Randy. In South Carolina? Yeah, Randy. Oh shit. She, she probably know that that Mojo. She that heebie jeebie down there. What they call it? The Geechee? Is that yeah, Geechee? Is that Geechee? Geechee? Yeah, yeah. That is Geechee, huh? I mean, that's the, they got the Gullah community. That's like right. You know, they real like. Uh, Rule in touch with their African roots down there. With that, I mean, like, like those are like true descendants of slaves down there, man. Like, gotcha, don't gotcha. get no more truer than that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they did slave. Shout out to the Gullah community. There. They got a little uh, joint down there called Little Africa too, man. For real? A little village out there, out that way called Little Africa. Little Africa. Yeah, and I've been, I'm born and raised in South Carolina, and I've never been. So, I'm gonna make that probably a mission. I'm I think a lot of people do. You be in your own city, you don't do the shit that everybody right. else might do. And I never heard of this shit until I left. Really? You know what I'm saying? When I was in Atlanta, goddamn, 15 years, I'm like, that shit is in South Carolina? Like, they say, you never up, been in Little Africa? Like, yeah, what? Get the fuck out. I grew up two hours from that place, man. I've never been there. I'm from New York. I've never been to Statue of Liberty. Never, hey, man, see? You know what I'm saying? It happens. I knew people grew up in New York, never left their borough hardly. Like, That's true. Like, That's they never real. been to all five boroughs. That's a real talk. That's dead ass. I'm like, I've been to all five boroughs, and I'm a visitor. You right. know what I'm saying? I was, we don't fuck with that shit, so. Where you from? Nah, I don't fuck with you, nigga. I've been to all five boroughs looking like a tourist. Fuck you was looking around, around and shit? Looking around and shit. Waving the motherfucker. See, you can't do that shit. Yeah. You, just, you was like, oh, he, 
Come here, son. Let me holler at you real quick. You ain't from here? <laughs> Wait, let, from here? I let them know off the cuff, sir. I'm the brokest tourist you ever want to see. You, if you gonna rob me, you know what I'm saying. You, this is all practice work for you, brother. So let's you test that me. theory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, bro. Um, all right. So doing comedy, uh, we, we all know that the shit is, is is different, right? You know what I'm saying. So, have you had any moments that you fantastic moments? I've, seen, I've been seeing you a lot on the on the stages out of L.A., right? Comedy store and Laugh Factory and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Any moments that you feel like, oh, this is fantastic, this is I'm on the right path, or some moments you be like, you know, you got booed or something like that, you're like, man, maybe I don't need to do this shit no more. Yo, man, 10 years, thank God, I've never been booed. Really? But I've had one of those quiet fucking sets. Those hurt. Where you can hear a rat pissing on cotton yep. in the back room, and it's just brr, 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 crickets. Yeah, I because, think we all had those. And I, you know what was crazy about it when I had that set? They've learned me a valuable lesson too about comedy too, bro. Because I was down in Jacksonville, okay, and I was, you know, I was in my hungry phase. My boy had a show down there. Shout out to my man Fredo Davis, Fredo, aka what up? Food Stamp. Always kept his foot in my ass about you know staying on stage. But anyway, me and him we drove to Jacksonville. He had a show, and uh, they gave me a guest <coughs> spot. Bet. Rocked it. How many minutes? Oh. Maybe five or seven. I don't. I don't remember. Right. I just know it was. You killed it. It was, it was killer. Like, so it was so good. The guy that put on that show invited me back, yeah. like two months later. That, like, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna feature. Right. Whatever. Right, right. So that was like my first featuring gig. So when they sent the flyer out, I mean, you know, it was me, and my boy Odie Odell was on this show. Okay. Um, gotta get him on there. That's a good, good dude. He from South Carolina too. I reach he out calls. To him. He calls himself the Carolina. King of comedy. Uh oh. So you know it's a, it's quite a few. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. not from coming from down there. But well, anyway, me and Odell was on the show. You know what I'm saying? They send the flyer. They got my picture all big on the flyer. You know what I'm saying? Odell's a headliner. Oh, my shit. picture's bigger than his. So I'm already down there. You know I got on a little chain and shit. <laughs> got my glasses on in the back of the venue. You know, <laughs> confident as shit. I get out of there. And stunk up the place, you know? And Odell looking at you like, nigga. Oh, man. And then, you know, you get one of them. I, I remember I, I told this one joke, and somebody, nobody said nothing. I'm waiting on the laugh, and somebody said, hell yeah. I said, hell no. <laughs> said, Thank y'all yeah. for having me. God bless and good night. <laughs> I almost left without getting paid, bro. That's how embarrassed I was. Damn. And O.D., Odell, and, and K-Dub, Ooh. They, the next morning we were on the road, Odie Odell and K-Dub roasted me from Jacksonville to, say, a a to the Georgia state line. <laughs> I got roasted by these cats, man. <laughs> Shout out to my man K-Dub, man. That's one of the... K-Dub is in my top five dead or alive stand-up comedians. I'm, I'm actually He's definitely in my top five alive right now. He's one of the most underrated comedians like in the city. Like, like in the you know, only, not in the country. I like, don't, I don't doubt. He's he getting his props, though. He's on the road now with, uh, you know, with... His boy T.I. and all mm -hmm. that stuff, you know what I'm saying? K-Dub so, is definitely funny as fuck. K-Dub is fucking hilarious, hilarious man. Yeah, for sure. Anybody I'm about to tell you about your list, too, so I'm glad you've you, you said that out there. Um, so give me one of them high moments. So you was like, oh, my God, I'm I'm, on, I'm killing this shit. My I'm highest high. moment, I would say, um, man, it's a toss-up. I did three dates with Cat Williams. That's what's up. I got to do the first date in my hometown in Columbia, South Carolina. Well, that's Randy's hometown, but that's my home state. Uh, How's Cat? Cat is a different cat, bro. Like, he kind of, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, he ain't, man. The dude paid me $100 a minute for every minute I was up there. Shit. Wow. He asked me, well, how long did you do, young man? And I tell him, you know, it's like, I don't know, seven minutes. <laughs> they, no, he don't even peel off the money. He'd be like, the young lady will see you. You know, and then I'll go see just chickens. Well, Goddamn. He hands, hands me an envelope, and it's, Filled with hundreds, you know what I mean? Right, that's what's up. He paid me seven, you know, seven hundred dollars for that night, and I would have paid him seven hundred dollars just to to do the show because, you know what I'm saying? That's right. So Cat Williams is, Cat Williams is, is you know, what I'm he was real man. You, you know? dropped any knowledge on you? Of Jules? course. Well, I got the most knowledge from um, from um, uh, Mr. Cooper. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Mark Curry. Mark Curry. Yes, sir. Mr. Cooper. Okay. He was dropping the jewels, and my man Zoo Man Miller. They Zoo was all man. on the show with him. So you know, and you know what's crazy? When I got there, they just threw me on stage. No introduction. No nothing. You know, he's not even. 
part of the show. I think Red Grant came out and said, yo, until we get the show started, uh, here's Ivory Corley. <laughs> what an introduction. Yeah. Yo, here's Ivory Corley. Why you niggas get to your seat? Here's Ivory. Yeah, man. So, I, I mean, I got, I got a chance to do that. I rocked out in my hometown. Then we went to uh, Nashville, and I had a little bit more confidence and more experience of, about doing an arena because Cat was like, um, you need to give the people time to laugh. <laughs> Anytime you tell your jokes, just give them time to laugh. That's so, good advice. So, you know, you tell, I was telling the jokes, and you'll just hear 7,000 people erupt right. at one time. It's an arena, right? I mean, that's just, that's got to be the craziest feeling. That's dope, right? There. And then one night, um, I think the Star Dome in Birmingham, Alabama, the owner, Bruce, he calls me. Say, what are you doing? I'm like, you know, I'm wide open. He said, he said, all right, I need you for five shows with this guy named Greg something or another. I forgot his last name. Cool ass dude. He Langford? Says, nah, nah, Greg Langford's my man. That's Uncle G. Okay. So his name was Greg Morton, I think his name is. He wears glasses. Okay. He was America's Got Talent. Okay. He does a lot of impersonations. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was like the most, uh, what do you call it, when mainstream audience. Okay. And by mainstream, I mean like white. Yeah, 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 I got you. I, got you. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. So it was like four black people in there, including me and Greg. And it was like you. a table like two, <laughs> two black people. And it was like 700 white folks in there. And I'm like, when I before that, I was like, why is this dude booking me for this show? Like, right, right. This is, he's trying to kill my career. This is trying to ruin me. <laughs> this is never going to work. Uh, when I say, when I look back at the footage, I can hear people choking and... <coughs> Mm -hmm. And gagging from laughing so hard, that just like I, that's when I knew I was like, okay, I'm, I'm ready for other levels because now I done made the mainstream audience fall out of their seats. And me and Greg had the best, it was the best, best five shows. And of course, Hollywood. So I got a couple of highlights, man. Doing Hollywood, I was, I was scared to death because that audience out there is, you got everybody in that audience. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? They call it chocolate Sundays, but it ain't. It ain't as chocolate as it used it's to be. be. Right, right, right. You know, you got people, you know, Indian people, just people are all, you know what I'm saying, right, nationalities right. in there. And to be able to make that crowd erupt, right. that, you know, that's a big feeling, man. You know, and then, you know, representing for my hometown. I try to I try to keep it real for the, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to tell them, though, if I keep this momentum up, uh, Aiken, I'm selling out. I just want to let y'all know that. I'm. I'm no longer from Aiken once I once I blow. It's it's over. Yeah, I heard it, right? I'm not. <laughs> you had the right to beat his ass when he come home and this nigga sold out. He told you ahead of time. Do don't act brand, me don't like, act brand new. Yeah, don't be like, yo, he acting funny and all. He, he told you was. That's two things you can't do. In, you know, that's one of the things you can't do in the black community is act funny. You know what I'm saying? You As a matter of fact, Aiken call in right now, 678-740-9894. 678-740-9894. Call in. Calling Tell a nigga about himself. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm glad you talked about the mainstream thing because this, this is a conversation I have with, with a lot of black comics, right? They get right. stuck in just doing black spots, urban spots. Right. And they feel uncomfortable. They're like, ah, oh, them niggas ain't going to get my shit. Speak on the, 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 the necessity to be versatile in both those markets. You got to be. You can't. I mean, if you want to take it to the next level, and it's not selling out. I mean, you could still be. I discovered then when I did that mainstream show, because I didn't curse, and I definitely don't use the n words. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying like niggas and stuff in like front that. Of white folks, I, like I do. That I do not do that in front of white audience. And I don't. I don't say the n word in front of white audiences. And I don't, I don't tell that. jokes that shit on my people I don't to make that. white audiences laugh. Yeah. Any comedian that I gotta give you that on that. Yeah. Any way. comedian that's out there doing that shit, you know, I hope you. I Eternally bombed, nigga. I, I, I can't stand you. I, I hate comedians like that. It's not necessary. Yeah, that's not my thing. When I see white black comedians do say the N word a lot in front of white folks, I'm like, you know, Chappelle do it a lot, but you know that's his stick. You know what I'm saying? But Chappelle, you know, we different but level. I'm just talking regular another, yeah. schmo, motherfucker. Come on. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't Come like on, that, bro. man. I don't like you that. Be than that. I'd be shit. uncomfortable. I'd be crazy. Hell like, yeah. <sighs> you want to laugh though? I know y'all see you want to laugh, but I'm. Like, <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That's definitely it. But the mainstream is definitely it. Especially y'all niggas want to do talk shows and shit like that. I mean, you like, can't go up there. Yeah, I can't do that. Just doing these hookah balls and shit you, and thinking, making niggas spit their chicken wings out is the move. Man, I, I, you know what makes me cringe? Like when I see some of these new rappers 
on a mainstream show trying to do an interview. Ah, that bothers me. <laughs> ah, and they be they be talking like they mildly retarded and shit, man. That shit is <laughs> that shit bothers me, man. I'm like, God damn. Right. Your manager, they, they could at least you had a PR you know, person yeah. prep me for this shit. Prep me for this shit, man. Like, come on, man. See, it got down cause uh, see it cause uh, uh, it Jimmy and all. I can't stand that shit, bro. Hell no. But, I, I know, get it. I, I, that's just me. I'm 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 in my fifties now. Oh, that's you what's know up. What I'm saying so. You know, I, I see shit different. Facts. You know, I'm, I'm a little grumpier now. You know what I'm saying? You're stupid. You have anybody that you want to work with that you haven't yet? Oh, man. I wanted to work with... Earthquake is my favorite comedian on the planet. Earthquake is a, is a beast. Absolutely. Monster. My favorite comedian on the planet. I'm not going to say... I just know he kind of hurt my feelings one time. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it like that. But I did... Earthquake? I, yeah, I did get over it, though. I did see him last time I was in, in Hollywood, and, we, and I took a picture with him. Uh, Corey Holcomb, I never got a chance to work Man, with. That nigga's funny as hell. I, I saw him last time I was out there, and uh, he was just real. He, you know, he would gave up doing the picture and all that stuff, doing advice. You know, uh, gave me a little advice and all that. He was a real dude. He gave me some advice. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, like you know, when they see you, when they see somebody like real comedians who ain't haters, and and, and they're not joke thieves and shit like that, and they really want to see somebody if they see a potential in you, they'll pull you to the side. And be like, yo, keep doing what you're keep doing. Keep doing what you're doing, but try this, try that, you know. And you know, and I'm open to all that stuff, man. That, this shit is like a dream come true to me, man. That, they don't know how I be fanboying. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen Corey 30 years ago on Def Jam. I, you know what I'm saying? That's, That's how facts. long I've been following him. Facts. So, I have too. And and to be able to work with everybody I've seen on Def Jam is crazy to me. You know, yeah. I don't work with Joe Torre. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my favorites off Def Jam. I don't work. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, I definitely want to work with Quake. I got a chance to work with. Um, I worked with Tony Roberts in Birmingham at Stardom. Tony's hilarious. He's my. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm gonna give my list in a um, minute. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. I, I'm just. I, I, I'm Tony's just, funny. I, man, Tony's the, funny. Tony is the truth, man. Tony's funny. Real dude too, man. And he gonna roast your ass. I don't care how long he been knowing you, man. He gonna roast you. He'll, he'll get on your ass. He called me. Uh, he pays on his love, little brother, Lonnie Love. I'm like, God damn. Not Lonnie, hey, bro. Tony, what's up? He's not Lonnie Love. Hey, I don't even want this picture now, man. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. Hell Lonnie man. Love. Pays on Love was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? I worked with him before, too. And uh, he's funnier than a lot of people give him credit for. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They try to see him as a hater. But I don't see him as, I mean, he's just speaking what they call his truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? When a lot of people truth don't 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 fall in line with what what you think, all of a sudden now he's a hater. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stop it, man. Just stop, it. stop. It. So you know, um, I work with my man uh, Justin Whitehead. Shout out to Justin Whitehead. Okay. Okay. I, know I don't know him. if you're familiar with him. I know Justin Whitehead. He's yeah. real popular with the, you know, rip, ripping on the 600 pound life videos. Mm -hmm. Justin's a, he's a monster too. Like. He is one of those, uh, he's in that lane of the internet comics. Yep. That's, that's, that's how I, the club. That's how I know of him. But yep. he's one of those comics that's, that's actually like, funny. that's actually fucking funny. Some man. of the motherfuckers ain't. Man, I was My on My favorite is Ryan Davis. Ryan Davis is cool, but he changed on me. Did he? Yeah, yeah. He used to roll with my boy uh, from South Carolina, uh, 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 Beard Game. I don't know if you know him, mm -hmm. but Beard Game, you know, a lot of, a lot of South Carolina comics don't fuck with me no more. Beer oh, game. Fuck you, piss some niggas off. You saw that yeah. or early too? Bro, oh man, yo, I took beer game to um, fucking uh, Columbia with me uh -huh. when I opened for Cal Williams the uh -huh. first show. I took him with me because I was like, yo, I admire what you're doing, your hustle. I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Come, let's experience this shit together on right. this level. Right, right. And I took him with me. And then somewhere down the line, man, I was, I had put together my own special and shit that I was trying to film in my hometown, uh -huh. and I wanted him on the show. All right. And so the night of the show, this nigga tells me in the in the dressing room, if I'm not hosting, I'm not doing it. Did he? Did you tell him he was gonna host? No. So what the fuck he thought was gonna do that? Uh, what gave him that idea? I have no clue, bro. And, he, and the fact that you did it like 30 minutes before showtime, so I was like, ah, I was like basically about to say, well, shit, 
It was, I appreciate you coming out, fam. Right, right. But then my man, Skip G. Lawson, shout out to Skip G. Right. Skip G's the host of the Comedy House in South Carolina. Okay. He's been their host for like 16 years. And he the one actually, you know, uh, uh, politic to get me on right, right, in my right. hometown. Right, the right, comedy right. Club. So he was going to be the host. And Skip just stepped in and said, yo, don't worry about it. Let him host. Because I was, I, mean, I was pissed. Right, right, right. So he was like, yo, if it wasn't for him, you know, the whole, it threw the whole energy of the show off. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sure. he, he's not, he wasn't been as polished as he should have been. Right, right, to right. be talking about being a host. host. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So, you know, it, it, it kind of threw the shit off. And then, you know, I'm the kind of guy that kind of hold comedians. I love, I love this comedy shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And every time, you know, I got a big show that I do once a year. Well, I haven't done it this year. Uh, I do it once a year. It's called The One Mike Stand. Okay. I do it in my hometown every year. Uh, I've been doing it for like 11 years. That's how I know everybody. I don't book everybody for this show. Yeah. Um, but every year that I do the show, uh -huh. I have somebody from the home, you know. Hometown do it. From the hometown on that. Right, right, right. So, Beer Game and a couple of the other homies, you know, I asked Beer Game to be on the show and shit. And, see, so yeah, great, man. Send me a headshot. This nigga sends me a picture of him sitting in the goddamn car with a seatbelt on. <laughs> Those shits. I say, hey man, uh, you ain't got nothing professional. Yeah, I say, hey man, I don't mean no harm, man, but you know, I got people paying, you know, up to fifty dollars for a ticket to right. get to this motherfucker. Man, I can't put that on my flyer. Facts, bro. you facts. Like you know, I said, man, y'all y'all niggas smoke weed all day. I said, find somebody to pay somebody thirty forty dollars, man, to get some fucking headshots, man. Facts. I say, what if somebody major call you? You gonna send that bullshit to the Apollo or something? You're right. You sitting there with your fucking seatbelt on in the car? <laughs> I'm not putting that shit on I my flyer, bro. Shit. So, you know, they got, it, a bunch of them got mad with me about that. So all of a sudden now I'm the hater. When every one of them who hate on me, I done put them on the show. You asked them to be professional. That's all it was. That's all I asked them to do, man, is to be professional, bro. Yeah. You represent the whole time. This is a time. business. It's a business. Show business. Show fucking business. So bro. you got to operate, you got to do your shit on the stage, but you got to handle your fucking business. Yeah. That, you know that, what I'm saying? You are an entity. Yeah. He went on another podcast, man, and just talked just talk so reckless about me, man. And You know what I'm saying? I not only do this show do big numbers in my hometown, like, Every year we was using, you know, we was doing fundraising and shit like that, man. You know, we, was, you know, we, we, we raised money for, for one of the homies that had brain cancer. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Raised money for him. It was a sister who got ran over by this white dude. And uh, she died. She had five kids. Damn. Her father was hit, too. Shit. So he couldn't work. So we raised money. You know what I'm saying? It was we. We pay for all that Christmas shit with this show. That's what's so up. this show gives back. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, 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 right. And for you to be running around trying to shit on my reputation... That's you know what I'm saying? Up, like, right. like, dude, you don't know me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't just talk about shit. I be about it, man. I'm, I'm all about the community, bro. Facts, facts, facts. So, I like you that. Know, I like that. Yeah, you know, he went up talking reckless and shit about me. About, I think, you see, because I do the show every year, mm -hmm. it was like a pattern in my hometown. Everybody be waiting for that shit. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So this one year, because I was doing it with my cousin, God bless my man, Hussie Love. That's my partner in crime. He, he, it was me and him. We were the home team. And um, he got sick, and then he passed away. Okay. So we skipped it when he got sick. Then when he passed away, I couldn't do it. You know right, what I'm right. saying? You was choked up. Yeah, right. Yeah. So the following year, I was like, yeah, you know, that year after he passed away, I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do it. You know, just sitting there contemplating. So I'm I'm calling down, trying to set the venues up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a new black venue. They just opened in, in, in my hometown. So mm -hmm. I call that shit. It was like, oh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I do it every Black Friday or that Saturday of, of, of Thanksgiving, that gotcha. weekend. It's, 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 you can set your watch by the shit. It's either going to be that Friday or, or that Saturday. Saturday. Right, right. Right? So I call down there and the fucking the lady's like, oh, I'm sorry. We're already booked for that Saturday. I'm like, okay, what's up with Friday? She said, well, you know, we knew we don't do two shows back to back. You know what I'm saying? It was a new place. And I was like, okay, cool. Fuck? So she was like, well, what you trying to do? What kind of event? I said, we're actually trying to do a comedy show that I do every year down there, and I like the venue, and it's in the good, you know, it's in the hood and all that shit. I wanted to bring it there this year. She said, that's interesting. Somebody already has a comedy show for that exact same day. <laughs> I don't knew that's where it was going. <laughs> I said, really? What's his name? I, 
She didn't even have to tell me. You already knew who it was. I already fucking knew. It was had to be two of two people. You know what I'm saying? It had to be beer game ass. It had to be other cat named Cedric because they always had their hands, you know, in the mm. shit. And I called them and I asked them. I was like, yo, uh, y'all know anything about this show that's going on? Nope. No. They said, oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody called us and asked us to do this show. Like, she said she had to have us. I said, yo, ain't nobody like looking for y'all. You know what I'm saying? This <laughs> like, stop it. <laughs> this like this lady just came in from out of town. She want to spend money on a comedy show. She just pulled y'all name out of her ass. Get out of here, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. That's so I was like, okay, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, okay, y'all niggas trying to backdoor me. Right. Because y'all know I haven't done it. I didn't do it the previous year. You didn't think I was doing it this year. So it's an opening. So it's an opening. I'm going to go ahead and. Y'all ain't even from that town, from that area. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> That's crazy. So I, I bought the show back to honor my cousin, and I made the show free. First, I was like, yo, fuck that. They ain't going to sell a ticket. I'm going to make this shit free. Right. But then I was like, no, I'm going to make the shit free anyway. It's to honor my cousin. Right. So I started off on, yeah, I'm going to ruin these niggas' night shit, but I didn't even have to do that because it was going to sell out anyway. I've been doing this shit for 11 years. Right. So My they was already like, out there. Yeah, so they thinking like, yo, I and purposely... Made the show free to ruin they shit that didn't sell no fucking tickets anyway. Everybody was at your shit. The shit was already, the, the lady who was promoting the shit called me and she told me how much money she had tied up in that shit. She's like, we can partner up. I was like, shit, you won't no. bet nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Not partner my money. ass, hell no, bitch. <laughs> uh -uh, ain't but one parachute and I'm getting that bitch. <laughs> you can go down with this plane, hell no. So, you know. So, um, as far as writing and stuff like that, is there any topic that you don't really touch on? And if there is, how do you feel about it? Is, it, is cancel culture a part I don't of why you do shit that? about that. I ain't nobody. Okay. The fuck they okay. gonna cancel me? I ain't shit. Okay. All right. So you know they'll probably hold it against me when I, you know what I'm saying? When, when you I get sell on, out. You bring that shit back like Kevin Hart. Yo, yo, like ten years ago, hey, yo, boy, he had the worst guy. That nigga say he eat his hot dog sideways <laughs> <laughs> on that on podcast. That podcast. Remember he on he on do gay. He's a homophobe. <laughs> right. Yes, I am a homophobe. I am afraid of getting fucked. So I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> trying to fuck me, I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Adrian. <laughs> That's a good reason to be afraid, though. It's not like it's a bad reason. It's a really good reason to get afraid. I'm afraid of sodomy, okay? <laughs> shit. It's okay. <laughs> I go sign that shit. It's okay. Hey, man. You know, I don't got nothing against the gay community, man. If you in love with another man, fellas, do you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I just don't want you trying to do me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Keep that shit to your motherfucking self. <laughs> yeah, they, they just mad aggressive in Atlanta too with them. Oh, they gonna lick they it want up. the straight. They want the straight. Yeah, movies, man. they they try. I heard that's oh, they be that's their to... fantasy. Turn them up for straight out. Man, they motherfucker threw some game on me one night, nigga. I had to. We could, I'm like, ooh, <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm all that, motherfucker. It was on my ass like I was the fine bitch at the club, nigga. Like and you talking to the bitch like, bitch, you don't talk to yeah. me like these niggas talk. You better step your game up. <laughs> This nigga buying all the drinks and shit. He being nice. You know, shit. <laughs> nigga complimenting my outfit. Bitch, you don't even know they say shit about my outfit. <laughs> Motherfucker. You gonna walk home. Man, shit. Yeah, they be, you know. You know, I ain't scared of shit about nothing being canceled, man. I, if, if, if I don't, if I feel a certain type of way about it, I'm gonna talk about it, bro. I got if you. I, you know, it's, it's, it's humor and everything. I got figure, you know, there's timing. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. There's such thing as it's, it's, it's timing. Facts. You know what I mean? So you got to be careful with that. And you got to be careful, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to come up, you want to try to maneuver in a certain way. Right. But you ain't trying to, you know, make no bad, no bad, no enemies in this business. Baby. Absolutely. Because if I put a post up, my dude K-Dub is going to call me on the phone and be like, yo, nigga, you need to take that shit down. Like, if I have an opinion about somebody like Steve Harvey or something uh -huh. like that, and I put up, Steve, oh, man, that was fucked up. What? You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, take that yo, shit yo, down. You need to take that shit down, man. Uh, you don't know what could happen. You don't know who you who reading this right. or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? How to fuck up your money long term down the right. line. Right, somewhere right. down the line. But sometimes, you know, I mean. Now he's right. I, it, 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 he's right if you're in it for that. I'm in it for the love of the culture, man. So, you know, if, if I get paid, I do. If I don't get paid, I'm cool with it. Right, right, I've right. I've done a lot of shit. That a lot of people who've been in the game 20 years hadn't done. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. 30 years, you know, I, I, I had a chance. 
like in a solid five years, man, I had a chance to do a lot of shit that a lot of people haven't been able to do. Facts. So I'm grateful for that, man. That's that shit you can't put a price on. You can't. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to perform in Hollywood. Right. I just did fucking Bob Sumner's uh, joint in New Jersey the other day. That's what's um, up. You know, that's, you know, he said if that goes well, then I'm at the Apollo. That's what's up. You know what I mean? They got you know, at the Apollo Club. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. For that, sure. You know, the, I might get a chance to see my name up in lights. Right. At the fucking Apollo, Apollo, man. You can't you can't beat that, baby. So, you know, I, it ain't it ain't it ain't about the bread. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a job. You know what I'm saying? I got a career. You know? I got you. I got a lot you. of it's a lot of comics out here that's just doing straight comedy. Some of them are doing well, a lot of them not. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them like, you know, shit, they they're a cash app away from being homeless, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know. It, it just it just really depends on on the individual, man. You know. So we're gonna go into your list. So top five, dead or alive, you already know. Who's on your list? <sighs> Spend your last dollar to go see. Ooh, my last dollar to go see. I would pay to go see Richard Pryor if he was still alive. Okay. Okay. This is gonna surprise you. I would pay to see Bill Cosby. Okay. Bill Cosby's a. Say, someone said last week too. He's yeah. a fucking genius, man. Yeah. Last week. He is. He, Bill Cosby was a genius. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? And Bill Cosby paved the way. For a lot of people. For a lot of us, you know him and uh, of course uh, Dick Gregory. Is that on your list? That's or, on my list. Dick Gregory. I Dick wanted Gregory. to go see Dick Gregory, and he died like the week before, two yeah. weeks before. Mooney's on my list. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, okay. A lot of OGs. Okay. Yeah. Earthquake. Okay. That's your five? That's my five. Earthquake's my favorite of all time. Uh, but then, you know, I got my honorable mentions. You know, I got Tony Roberts in there. Okay. I got my girl, Barbara Carlisle, up in there. Uh, Say Barbara Carlisle last week, too. Yeah, Barbara Carlisle is, is, is she's that old. I, I'm, I'm, I'm older than everybody else, man. It's a certain style of comedy that I'm that I'm used to right. that I think is funny. Right. You know that? So, you know, that's, that's like my... Top my list of well known comics. Right. But on the underground scene, my top five is gonna be K dub, Fredo Davis. Fredo's very funny. Um Sean Jones. Okay. Howie Bell. Howie Bell's funny. Uh I got one more. One more. There's so many, man. I'm just a fan of comedy, man. It's like I'm like at the moment, them. you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I'm like there with everything. I don't even have a basketball team. I just like, I just like follow sport, like right. yeah, I follow players. You know what I mean? Like if you're a good player, I'm I'm just gonna follow you. Um, you know, shit, man. My list. Oh, I said, did I say Tony Roberts already? Yeah. I said Corey already. <laughs> I'm gonna put Corey Holcomb on there. With Corey Holcomb's well known. Yeah, he's well known. He said see. underground. Underground. I would say uh, Sean Jones. Howie Bell, Sean Larkins. Sean Larkins wasn't on your list before. Barbara Carlisle. Okay. Food Stamp. K-Dub. My list is too thick, man. I can't really. <laughs> because every time I say one, I think of another, another one. one. Right. And I'd be like, damn, I don't want to insult him because, you know, and I worship these people, man. That's what's up. These guys don't know just like I'll be like fanning around them like. You're you a student of the, of the art, man. It's, and, and you got to be every you gotta day. got to be a student of the art, You're a student man. of the craft, man. Yes, sir. You know. So we're gonna get into some of these topics, man. Um, a lot of people uh -oh. at home trying to get me canceled. Uh, we gonna see. We gonna see. We gonna we gonna we gonna fucking surf on that border. We, we gonna surf on the border a little bit. <laughs> Call in six seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four six seven eight seven four zero nine eight nine four. My man Vince D just called me. I gotta call him back. Vince D, you know he was on here. What you calling out for? Vince D, out in in, in uh, fucking Louisiana. Okay. Oh, I'm he should have called in. Yeah. He's checking on my availability. Yeah, tell Hold him on one second. Ah, what's the date? See, look at guys. Y'all my good luck charm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All right. pretty sure I'm available because, you know what I'm saying, my career ain't shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure I'm here front. Like, let me, let me check. You know, I'm ready. What's the date? All right, so uh, this is something me and Lab can both... Uh, <laughs> fucking agree on three former amazon drivers sued the tech company for inhumane work conditions they claim that the company allegedly forced them to pee in bottles and poop in doggy bags just to keep up the delivery times 
I mean, that's uh, all about right. Me and this nigga met at an Amazon warehouse. Oh my god. And we can tell you about the conditions of the warehouse. Man, what the fuck? You, so this motherfucker billionaire got y'all pissing in bottles and shitting in bags. He has. We had no. We had no. We had no air, we had no air conditioning though. We was around that motherfucker white beaters and, and damn near underwear. Yeah. yeah trying man. to get y'all package. That's why I don't fuck with Amazon to this day. First of all, I'm gonna say on there. I'm gonna say fuck Jeff Bezos. <laughs> You piece of shit, fucking! Oh, you don't deserve life if you if you pay, if you making motherfuckers do that, man. Was it right o'clock shit wrong? That shit is right though. At the warehouse, same yeah. thing. Yeah, wow. like you mean, y'all clock. didn't have even fucking the air conditioning Bro. in her, man. Yo, I was mad at my son. He worked there for like motherfucking like nine hours or some shit. Yep. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. That nigga got. It don't take about five hours. I was like, you lazy. You son get one bitch. fifteen minute break yeah. for nine hours. That shit's about. It's a sweatshop. That, that is a sweatshop, man. Fuck Jeff Bezos. I hope that nigga fly to the moon and and can't get back, bro. Yeah. That's what I hope for him. That fuck him. Yeah. But you know what, man? We gotta stand up as a people, man. And 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 uh, because if if the if the Mexicans feel like they they being fucked over. They're going to walk out that bitch. They sure would. And if you fuck over one Mexican, you That's fucking it. over all of them. They about to let everybody, all the Mexicans know, too. They're going to, hey, hey, papa. We're not doing that. Jose, we're out of here, homes. Yeah, niggas like, I need that. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> we'll sweat this bitch out. Oh, man. Yeah, I done, I done seen it, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we we got to get all, you know what I'm saying? That That's crazy. I think we as a people, though, uh, we're going to have to all get on the same page economically, man. The only way to hurt shit and make shit Stop move lying. is... Is to hit motherfuckers in their pockets, man. Exactly. That's exactly. It, that's called an economic embargo, okay? Yeah. That's pretty much if we stop spending our money with them, everybody is fucked. Well, good luck on that, cause nigga just said <laughs> he said he about to drop a cell phone company, and the next couple months he about to do anybody who have Amazon Prime can get a cell phone through him for free. Or ten dollars. We gotta stop selling that <laughs> stuff, man. Like, like, nigga, I got it. I don't even want my Obamacare no more, nigga. Like, <laughs> fuck all that shit, nigga. I, <laughs> I don't even want that shit. I know that's man. That, I knew that was some bullshit when I went to go see the doctor. They picked out for me the other day. This nigga, he called in sick, nigga. I'm like, the yeah, doctor. Fuck? <laughs> my doctor didn't call in sick, man. The fuck Obamacare, man. I ain't gonna make it. Yeah, 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 yeah man. You know what? <laughs> they cough on the phone. They yeah. that sound. That's real contagious, nigga. Yeah. Take three pills. Nigga. I'm like, yeah, I'm here to see the dentist. There's a nigga named Dennis came out the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm Dennis. Who you? <laughs> I said the dentist. <laughs> nigga didn't even give me a prescription for Percocets. He just pulled them out of his pocket. <laughs> How much take, you want? Yeah, take yeah, three of these, like three for five. You get the lint. <laughs> Never mind that lint. <laughs> that's you. That's all you, baby. That's all you. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to stop selling ourselves short, man, and start, like they say, man, you know, stretching our dollar, making it work for us, man. Money is power. We, we got so much spending power in this country, bro. Like, Facts. like we spend more money than fucking s- some guys. nations, some whole countries are worth. We spend in one year. You did ass. That's the, true. The GDP of some of these countries don't even compare to the amount of money that we just spend. That's facts. And we spend money. I'm in the car business. I see us get into debt for bullshit all the time. And I work in the bank, so you know I see it. Yeah, man. I be like, yo. <laughs> huh? And I work for the bank. Right. So we all see it. <laughs> you niggas is tripping. Yeah, man. And we just want shit because we want to make another motherfucker let go. Ooh. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just to impress somebody. Shit. I'll and I be saying, I'm like, yo, ma'am, I be trying to talk these, some of these sisters and stuff, like even brothers, like, yo, man, you, you sure you want this car? You're like, it's a fucking BMW, like. That's not even in your. Yeah, you know, your, your fucking rent. payments through the roof. Your, your interest rates through the roof. Yeah, your main is gonna be high as fuck. Gas is four dollars a gallon, so you're paying six hundred dollars a month just in gasoline just to be able to fire that raggedy motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? Not to mention insurance. You know, they buying all these charges and these challenges mm-hmm. with the big ass motor in it. Mm-hmm. That and the rims pass, and shit. That Hell bitch yeah. will pass anything on the road except a gas station. Yep. <laughs> That's facts. You know what I'm saying? That's like, facts. You pay seven, eight hundred dollars a month just in gas. Your insurance is high as, as it's ever gonna Hell be. Hell yeah. Because you're here in Atlanta, and that's the number, number three yep. of the top five stolen cars in this fucking city. All facts. They breaking the challenges and charges a day out here. Dude. Yeah. Be so you're spending about fifteen hundred, you know, close to two grand a month on a fucking depreciating asset. Facts. 
Facts. Because if you try to get that bitch back, yo, I just paid fifty seven grand for this bitch. It's dead that ass. dealership yeah. gonna offer you thirty four. Yep. But your payoff is sixty seven. You upside you got down the like a motherfucker. Yeah. Goddamn. Hey, Heart man. Wheels in that yeah, if y'all buying these cars and shit, I hope you like them. <laughs> you're not getting out that motherfucker. I leave my doors open on my verse and they close. <laughs> <laughs> right. They ain't taking that shit. I drive a fucking Honda Accord, man. I drive I, a, a fucking Toyota Corolla. Yeah, I bought my shit because I knew I, I was on the road a lot. Mm-hmm. And I need something that's going to be reliable. Now, it's a 2019. It had 12,000 miles on when I bought it. That bitch mm-hmm. got 100, like, like 125,000 miles on it right now. Yeah. So, you know, all I got to do is change the oils and the, bra- and, and the that, brakes. That's your last shit. That's good. That shit last shit. 300,000. Huh? He drove a lot. You're right. Oh, yeah. You know, I, 2017, I got 57,000 miles. Yeah, I mean, one time I had a run. <laughs> I, I went from Atlanta to fucking Indianapolis, Indianapolis and North Carolina, South Carolina, then to fucking Birmingham. All Damn. in five days. Damn. So, it's a hell of you a know, run. But, you know, I, I'm. I've yep. been doing this shit so long, man. I hate cars, man. I hate seeing us waste our money on bullshit like that. So. Facts, facts, facts. So, you know. All right, so they got a black woman who's fired after showing up to late, after showing up to work late, forty-seven times. She was awarded eleven point two twenty-five million dollars in a racism lawsuit. Jurors in the case did not view dozens of instances of her tardiness as a reason for separation from the company. I mean, what did he say? Get out of here, nigga. <laughs> 47 times? <laughs> 47, 47 times? times late and, it's, and she and got a... They're, they're sued. Sometimes I think just I think God just got a sense of humor, man. That was just like, <laughs> you know what? Like, this bitch don't stand a chance. What am I going? Watch this shit here. We yeah. going to bless this. This shit was in New York, too. Not about right. 47 mm-hmm. times late. And sued. Sued and won and got 11 mil. You going to fire me? I'll be right back. Hey, but that goes to <laughs> show you, man, that like one time late. Yeah. Facts. But you know what? That should be an inspiration for us to brush ourselves up on the law, man. Facts. White, Facts. you know what I'm saying? White people and Asians the and Indians, the them the sue happiest month. They will sue your ass. Litigating like a muffin. There's the litigation folks right there. Them right. Indians. But you cannot be doing what you're doing. <laughs> I am going to take your ass to court. Yes. Right you cannot be the ding, 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 ding. When they go to doing that ring, ding, 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 that is your ass right there. Man. I am going to chew your ass, ding, 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 your bloody bing, ding. <laughs> Shit. Shit. That is your ass. The only right one's known suit in the end is Patel's, because them niggas got all the money. <laughs> that's how they got it. You ain't never seen a broke Patel. Them like motherfuckers. It. That's how they got it. And they keep it. And they keep flipping that shit around, man. They own. Like, you ever see the gas stations, you yep. see a set of Patels yep. for two years, then th- two years later, you see another set, you're like, damn, what happened to Punjab? <laughs> he is no longer with us. This My name right. is Sanjib. He, he got promoted. Yeah, they be switching that shit around, man. My daughter had went to her graduation, they had cold valedictorians. One a Patel, one a Pun, whatever. I said, them niggas gonna be straight. Oh, yeah. They tell everybody, keep your head up, and the future is yours. I'm like, it's easy to say. Both y'all niggas' daddies own six fucking gas stations apiece. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got a full ride to Emory. Other one got a full ride to Georgia Tech. Yeah, man, the no. sky is the limit for you, nigga. <laughs> the rest of these niggas ain't all going to make it. Well, they, they don't, everybody else has been allowed to come over here and, uh, you know, not be and, and disenfranchised and shit. You know what I'm saying? They handle themselves economically without repercussions. You know, last time we tried that shit, they... They killed us, you know, they was bombing us and shit like that, you know. Facts. So, you know, it's kind of hard to undo. You, you got these immigrants coming over here and they're looking at us. Oh, we got a caller. Uh oh, uh oh. Thank you for calling the Misfits of Comedy. Yo, what up? Ivory on the, on the show? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm here, man. Who that? It's for show. For show. <laughs> on the show. What up, What's man? up, my guy? What's going on, my what guy? Up? How y'all living? Chilla, what's going on, bro? Man, everything good, man. I seen you. I just got out of a show. So I just wanted to call in and say, man, I'm proud of you, Ivory. Hey, man, I appreciate you. Do, uh, uh, I'm so proud of you calling in and, you know what I'm saying, self-promoting your shit. I just got out of a right. show. <laughs> what kind of shit is that, yeah, man? He, he, you trying to shit on my... Right. This is my time to shine, man. <laughs> 
Man, I ain't even tell him where to see me at, man. Uh, <laughs> but, you, but you really want to drop that shit, though. I hear your voice, though. Go on and tell us where you, where you performing at tonight, bro. Where was you at tonight? Okay, okay. Where Every you Wednesday at? night, y'all can catch me at the Farm Burger in Midtown. <laughs> That's what the yeah, talking about. Yeah, like we twisted his arm and uh, said, oh, no, God, no, if you're going to ask me to say, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll say this shit. Chris, why you front, son? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm working, man. I'm working, hey, man. Hey, baby. That's my little baby bro right yeah, there for sure, man. Too. We uh, he What movie are you doing now, nigga? Uh, the next movie that I'm gonna be doing is gonna be my own, man. I'm working on me a script this time. Hey, you better put I, me I in one of those fucking roles. That, I keep saying stuff that's on Tubi. It's like, man, let me get some. You better you put know, me in one of them goddamn roles, Chris. Hey, yeah, I'm telling you. I got you, boss. I got you, man. I, I'm sure I got something for a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Well, if you need an old grumpy uncle <laughs> character or a grandfather figure, sign me up. <laughs> sign me up. You know, I ain't got that. But you I ain't got that fro no more, so you know now it's, it's all it's all ready, it's all, everything ready. Yeah, you done went commercial on us, nigga. You done cut the ass off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm you saying? Ain't pro black no more. Yeah, man, you trying to go commercial? <laughs> hey, man, but it's good to hear from you, bro. You know I always love hanging around you, man. You for sure, my... for sure, man. Yeah. For sure. Y'all be safe out there, man. Hey, no doubt, man. Yo, check out for show sure at Farm Burger every Wednesday, y'all. That's my guy. As a matter Thank of fact, you so much. I'm going to be bringing him back to South Carolina soon. You know you want to Right on. There you go. Know Please say For sure. You know what? I'm going to need y'all to go to uh, Mississippi with me next month. On okay. The, the I'll pass the word to the month. guy. All right. I got you. All right. Appreciate Let's you. Do it. Look at business deals being done on the fucking show. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. That's Chris show. Yeah, I always like people that's out there getting it, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or trying to get it. And if I can, can help them get that exposure, you know, and put a little money in their pocket, you know what I'm saying? I'm all for it, bro. Like, sometimes I'll bring somebody with me and, you know, I'll just, I got a job. You see what I'm saying? So it really ain't about that with me. Sometimes when I bring these young cats on the road with me, I'll get them whatever I'm getting paid. I'm just going to divvy it up with them. All I want is accommodations most of the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll have some merchandise and shit like that, and I can recoup whatever costs, you know, for me to travel and shit like that. But that's what it's all about. Real Shout shit. out to my man for sure for coming in yep. and calling in. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for your time uh, What we got? All right, so this is one of my favorite rappers, right? In the game, killing it, young dude. But this stick of price is incredible. It's crazy. Lil Durk. That's not my favorite rapper. Reportedly paid J. Cole. That's my guy. $978,000 for a verse. And J. Cole charged this nigga $2,000 per word. J. Cole used in that verse 489 words to be on this feature. Can you think of any rapper that you would pay, if you was a rapper, that much fucking money for one verse? It's close to a million dollars, man. For one verse. Oh, all my favorite rappers are dead, so okay. I can't think of nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge DMX fan. I probably would have, you know, Biggie, you know what I'm saying, Pac. They all, all, they the all out of here, man. So I don't know if I know anybody alive. I don't think, even if they was alive, I wouldn't I wouldn't pay that much for, for nobody. But I'm pretty sure J. Cole probably seen any young niggas throwing up thousands yep. in the strip club and shit. Let me get some like, that. yo, I'm going to go ahead and... If you're going to let them rape you, I might as well go on and rape you, too. 2K so, a word. 2,000 a word. I like it, J. Cole, but goddamn, 2,000 a word. That's that's A, ass, two, hour. All that shit is worth 2K. $2,000. Well, this stupid motherfucker did it, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had a choice not to take the deal. Right. I would have looked at that shit. I would have been like, excuse me, motherfucker? <laughs> is this per word? <laughs> Are you fucking? Look at this shit. It's a million dollar worth of bullshit <laughs> on his page, J. Cole. Man, fuck in the hell no. He had a choice to say no, man. Yeah. Fuck that. Niggas better be the best verse you ever said in your goddamn life. Oh, man. You Residuals know Residuals might be crazy. This shit better go like 10 times platinum. <laughs> Jesus Christ himself would have had to come down and want to perform f for me for, for for that kind of money, bro. Nigga, we doing this. We crashing the Grammys and everything. We doing this shit <laughs> everywhere, nigga. I, you know what's crazy? I ain't even. I don't even know the fucking song. I don't either. So, you know, he just wasted This shit's called dollars. All My Life. I never heard of yeah, it. Yeah, this shit. All My Life. I, I ain't never I heard of shit. I my million dollars back yeah. for this verse. Asshole. 
<laughs> fuck you, kid. Fuck you young niggas got money to throw away. God oh, damn. Oh, my God. They don't respect it because they ain't have to earn it. You know, the internet made shit a whole lot of easier. For niggas to make money. You're right. Yeah, you know, right. so. You're right. That's in the comedy game, too. <laughs> Excuse me. You're right. A lot of these, you know, uh, you know, I ain't hating on the, the internet comics or nothing like that. Now I don't work with quite a few of them, but I don't know, motherfuckers. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't did none of this road life. You know, they, they made that little one viral video. And now, you know what I'm saying? They packing out shows. They packing out. And the clubs lazy as fuck, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? I remember clubs used to promote the, used to bring the crowd in. Now they don't they, have to. Now they waiting on these yep. guys to bring the club in. Yep, and now true. these guys, man, you know, you know, and, and a lot of these people that come to see these people, they're not real stand-up comedy fans. That's true. They're just fans of, of him of him or this person or mm-hmm. her. You know what I'm saying? And that and shit then, don't translate to real jokes on stage. They don't, and they can sit up and say, Anything and they going, they just going to laugh because they're so in love, they're enamored with these people. But at the end of the day, you know, I've been on several shows with internet comics and somebody come up and say, You should have been a headliner, you know, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, shit is different now with the internet, bro. Yeah, a lot of people ain't paying their dues. Gonna ask y'all, do y'all think that internet, you know, the little remixes they do and they may have a hundred thousand followers, do y'all think that translate on stage though? Like, I mean, I know it it's does a, not, it's a different animal where you're on the phone making a video then when you stand in front of people live you know, and then they're not even they don't have the, the visual of whatever you're talking about yeah you got to make them see it you, do you think that translates like they don't know punchline punchline set up all that shit is way shit different than practice man. yeah you can't now, cheat the now, stage now yo. country wayne when i first saw him uh-huh. shout out to country wayne he's a nice ass dude man i ain't he got is. Nothing, nothing bad to say about uh-huh. that brother uh he literally took the craft serious. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I thought when he first came out, he should have been like hosting. But you know, he insisted on headliner. But you know, he, they loved him. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw him before, and them people when he came out, they was they yeah. absolutely love fucking him. loved this yeah. guy, man. I've seen him in person and too. And he could say anything, and, and they, they was laughing. just falling out the fucking seats. Right. But then you know, after you start doing repeat business, you know what I'm saying? Like if he coming back again. Then people start noticing, like, yo, this right. he ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, real comedy fans decide to come check you out. Then it's a whole different animal. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of them, uh, some of them take their craft serious. I think Country Wayne is one of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, my man Justin Whitehead, he was always a comedian anyway. Right. He just, you know what I'm saying? He just got, he got, you know. Hot on social media. He got hot on social media. And he's, you know, uh, 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 my man, uh. Shula King is Shula another King. one. Yep, yep, yep. Shula was always a comedian first. Yep, facts. And, and uh, so he's mad funny. Um, but I was on a show with one, uh, one, one of those internet jokers, and uh, you know, he did a repeat. He came back, and it was like, yo, he told the same damn jokes. He told last time. I said, like, yo, he even had on the same outfit. Oh, oh damn! Like, God damn! Not the outfit. <laughs> you remember the outfit too? <laughs> You gotta be uh, bad to the motherfucker yeah, niggas wearing the outfit. Wearing the same outfit, I was like, "Fuck, that was just terrible, man." But you know, I see these cats. You know, some of them get beside themselves. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't work with those kind too. You know, I, I work with. Uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Dead Ass and Melissa. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't know them? Oh man, yeah. they had a real live buzz going. Man, they got like a million followers on Facebook, man. Really? Yeah, but I don't you know. Do Facebook. He got like they got like a million. Country Wayne was face, big off of Facebook. Yeah, he got like a million million followers on Facebook, but that that shit crumbled, man. He, they, you got to do people right too, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Because when I met them, uh, somebody had booked them when they got first started bubbling. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And the guy, it was in South Carolina, and the guy, you know, reached out to me. He was like, "Yo, will you host the show?" Uh-huh. So I'm like, "Yeah, shit." You know, I went down there. Place packed. Mm-hmm. Like, God damn. Like, I had never heard of, you know what I'm saying? It's like one video, and these motherfuckers was two hours late showing up. Oh, not Hollywood you know? shit. Oh, yeah, they Hollywood already. So then, you know, I'm trying to get my foot in, get in where I fit in. I said, yo, you know, I rap to him. I said, look, I got the plug. I asked him, had they ever done comedy clubs? Right. And I was like, nah, we've never been to a, a comedy club before. So I had to plug in South Carolina for the comedy club. I called my boy Skip. I said, look, man. Y'all need to book these cats. I know they, you know what I'm saying, they're going to sell some tickets. I said, they just, we in the middle of fucking nowhere. And right. it's, it's, it's like 500 people here. Right. So um, I plugged them in. 
the comedy club decided to give him a date, and it was like on a, like an off night, like a Wednesday or some shit. I'm out. Yeah, sold out. Boom, mm. just like that. They gave him a Thursday night. Sold out. Friday, two shows on a Friday. Bam, bam, they added two more shows on a Saturday. That was sold, the first Saturday show sold out that same day. They added a second show Saturday and a Sunday show. So they had like six shows, all sold out. They had a door deal. I hosted the shows. I had to do 120 minutes worth of material because Damn. they didn't have no jokes. So what the fuck were they doing that they keep selling up just off the video? Just off the videos, man. But then, you know, they start booking a bunch of people to go on the road with them and shit like that, you know, to fill in the gaps and shit like that. You know, we had, we had a falling out because, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't even about the money, but, you know, like, y'all motherfuckers making about 30, 40 grand. You're going to throw me $40. For now when I'm doing 120 minutes. Yeah, and right. I did 120 minutes for six Fuck shows, here. you know what I'm saying? So, Fuck you know, yeah. some people just get beside themselves, man. But they're going through their own little thing, man. God bless them, man. You know, he, he, she put it out there recently that he on, on drugs and shit, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, you know. Wow. He going to have some new material by the time he He going to have some now. <laughs> After you get up that glass dick, you have a lot of stories, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, I hope he, I hope, hey, good luck to the brother, man. I hope, I hope he kicked that shit. I've seen that shit do terrible things to people, man. I think we all have. So I would never wish that on nobody, but yeah. All right, so we got a, an African woman who's 123 years old. She, her name is Teresi Narakom Jambi. Uh, mm. She's a virgin and still holding out for Mr. Right, she says. She grew up in a household where it was taboo to talk to boys. She listened to the teaching of her culture so much so that her family uh, even began finding men for her to marry once she became of age. She says she has never had any feelings for a man or even been alone with a man in the room. 123 years old. She's the world's oldest bull dagger. <laughs> She ready to get that shit up, though. <laughs> That's the world only stud right there, nigga. Yeah. 123 years and you ain't never had no yeah. dick? She waiting for Jesus. And 123, yeah. She ain't waiting for Jesus. Yeah. You got that right. She waiting for Jesus to pop that She going to meet him. That's real she going to meet Mr. Right real soon. 123 years. God that damn. is the world's oldest stud right there, boy. She is waiting on That's Miss Right. That's tight as She waiting on Miss Nigga. To come scoop her ass up. <laughs> Tight and dry as fuck. Oh my god, you're gonna have to put all kind of coconut oil, <laughs> lube, lube, spit on at the same time. Sanitizer, <laughs> just whatever you can just fucking just raw yeah, crew. Oh you man, that's probably not, that bitch gonna turn to dust, dude. That shit probably the bomb though. You think about it? 123 years, that's like an aged steak, man. Yep, like, hell yeah, mom, let me get that mummified <laughs> pussy off your hands. Let me get that goddamn Egyptian mummified pussy up off your hands real quick. Let me get a flesh eating disease trying to eat this bitch out. Oh my God. God bless that sister though. 123 years of life. I want to know what's her diet. Yo, you give make a that round of applause for 123 years of life. She dodged dick that long. Yeah. God damn, bitch, you ain't got damn nature. Man, I was going to go about that, but it's just a little 14. 123 years old. That's, that's, that's incredible, man. You just got to think how of incredible, of all jokes aside, I'm just bullshitting about the dyke shit. Just think how, how convicted this woman is and how she really, really truly believe in whatever, in whatever she's being told. Her fucking family told her. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice way to try to come back. No, yeah. man. <laughs> she really was brainwashing nice, the shit nice that she said. Yeah, nice come back. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> she's still yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Right. I mean, she wanted to be alone in the room with a nigga. That's how, that's how scared she was. Like, uh-uh, uh-uh. You going to close the door? No, 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 no. We can't be the same. Well, like, God, I damn. think that might be some form of psychosis or something, man. That's because crazy. it's just natural for a woman to at be some point right. in her life to want to be with a man. So it could be some sort of trauma that went on in her childhood or some shit that just fucked her up, man. And she just didn't want, want to even go there. God so, damn. 123 years old. 123 years, though, man. I, I know I would have, if I would live to be 123, I'm... <laughs> me, right. <laughs> she could pay me 123 hours. Hey, hey, if I live to be 123 and they still got Viagra... She somebody, African, somebody yes. getting this gummy worm. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you sure is. You getting all type of worms. Yeah. <laughs> getting all this shit, bitch. 
120,000, I'm giving this motherfucker to you. I promise you I'll wrap this bitch up. <laughs> I'm pulling this shit out every conversation. Bitch, what you say? You want some dick? Huh? <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I jumped the gun. <laughs> too early, too soon. I'll be in a nursing home. i just naked. Just nothing All but a robe on. Covered in tapioca pudding. Oh, man. Like, just come in. Nasty. <laughs> Hell yeah. She outlived everybody. You had that. You had outlived a lot of motherfuckers here, family, 123 years you old. You know how many people she has seen die, bro? Just some Facts. Come on, man. She said a lot of shit. A lot of she shit. She just saw a chill, great, probably her great, 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 great. Pass away. Hell yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm good. I don't on know that. if I want to live that long. I, that's what I'm about to say. I don't know if I want to live that long either. They say them African men are tough on women. They, so that's what made her stop? That's how they, you know, they talk to, um, try to talk that shit to American women. Mm, they when they sure get do. over here, they be tough. You, woman, come here. <laughs> Sit down. You are my whore now. You know. <laughs> they got female circumcision over there, too, so that should be real, too. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, wild. Female man. circumcision for women. <sighs> they sew that shit up. That's their shit. Like, nah, that is. Yeah, that shit wild. Sewing it up. Yeah, you know, they sew the shit up. Yeah. And you, only, you only get it with your husband. You only your husband cut it. So it's meant for just procreation, not for pleasure. They Damn. Be, they be going off in the comments of videos. Of That's what the world. Bible say. It's, it's, like, this is horror stuff. Why is this horror on this, right. this video? They don't play that shit. <laughs> they don't play that shit. Don't look at that woman. Right. They, ain't, they ain't with that smoke. Hey, oh, man, any shit. nigga I could change a flat tire with sandals on, nigga, it's, <laughs> it's to be feared, nigga. You ever seen them African niggas? <laughs> At the tire shop, them niggas be. They sure I seen a nigga drop a wrench on his goddamn. This nigga dropped a whole wrench on his naked ass foot and kept walking like it ain't even. I said, this nigga got steel in his toes, nigga. Like, how the fuck? And they own, all them own the fucking shops. You're right, dead ass. I remember I went to go get a damn tire from him and the motherfucker was gone for a whole month. The next door, the next door fucking business dude told me, oh yeah, he went away for a month to Africa. He probably went to his homeland. Yeah, I said, nigga, make much, that much money off tires? Like, he said he's gone for a month, he went to bring money down and all type of supplies and Bro, shit. Bro, $50,000 over there can build you a mansion. <laughs> I know a lot of them, I got friends that got homes over there. And they are like fucking beautiful homes. They say they got to pay 50 grand for that shit. Uh -huh. They're like, you know, levels. Yeah. Facts. Pools and shit. Right. Like that. Yeah. Facts. So, facts. You know, the money system is different over there, man. Absolutely. Uh, somebody on Instagram said, Did you get married? Did you just get married? I I did. Hopefully that's my wife asking no, me. No. No. <laughs> no. I did just get married. I'm two years in the game. Two right. years is the same. New way, new way. So what would you say? He can't speak about 123 old pussy because he just got married? No, you, get, you know how she goes through people. Oh yeah, she do. She do. Well, she well, sick on, me doing Oh that damn, she is actually stalking she me. Does our media. She does oh. our she does our social media stuff. So oh yeah, I just social. got married two years ago. Oh, Shout okay. out to my wife, Queen Cassie. I congrats, love you, Congrats, my brother. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, man. <laughs> she's my biggest fan. I got two I mean, biggest fans, because if I say she's my biggest fan, right. then my sister Serena going to kill me. Uh, so, who's you know, who's they, watching they right like, now? What's up, Serena? Yeah, Serena's on right now. That's my other biggest. That's my ride or die right there. That's what's up. That's She'll what's pull up. out pinky on your ass with me. That's her pistol. Oh, shit. She got shit. a pink 38. We're from the country. We, Not a pink 38. Yeah, when we, we get mad, we don't argue. We ain't got time for all that. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be here when she get back. You said what? <laughs> I'll be right back. She got a pink 38, a pink uh, AR. Damn. Yeah, she know bullshit. I didn't know the motherfucking color. She know about her baby brother. Hell you know no. You know what I'm saying? But my wife, uh, shout out to my wife and shout out to my sister Serena. That's what's up. My number one supporter. She always had me. All right, this is the last topic. Uh, Sweden is now the first nation to officially recognize sex as a sport. On June 8th, the country will host the first ever European Sex Championship, which will last six weeks. The Swedish Sex Federation will be in charge of the competition, which has many categories, including seduction, oral sex, penetration, endurance, body massages, foreplay, and exploring erotic zones. According to several reports, the European Sex Championship Competitors will compete in demanding six-hour sessions each day with individual matches lasting 45 to 60 minutes. The competition will feature 20 competitors from across every nation, while a, a panel of three judges will decide the championship winners. 
and the audience will also influence the decision in the sex competition. The final choice will be determined by several variances or variables, including the chemistry between the couple, their level of, of, of sex education, and their stamina. First of all, guess why my Oh yeah, I'm about to say. Sweden uh, is dope. They got a lot of fly shit on Sweden. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Do spirit fly to Sweden? Look, <laughs> Sweden has a great fucking work schedule, and now they got the sex championships. Isn't that like like the first place like areas to like to sell like legal marijuana? Or is that that's uh that's the What's that Amsterdam? Spot. That's Isn't Amsterdam. It? Yeah, Sweden lets you have naps and shit during the day. They allow you mandatory two day two hour naps and shit during, during your work workshop. day. Yeah, and See? ten hour work days. And they like don't have no mass shootings because. Don't nobody have Everybody guns peaceful, and shit like right. that. You, you have sex competitions. Why they the fuck would I want to... Why? Yeah, I'm, well, too, I'm killing motherfuckers. I'm too tired to shoot a motherfucker. I just bust three, <laughs> bust three rounds on, the, on these balls. <laughs> six, <laughs> pow, pow, pow. six hour sessions a day. Uh, yeah, I'm tired listening to that shit, man. I don't think I... <laughs> yeah, I, I probably could have competed in my 20s or some shit. Yeah, I ain't got it in me. Right now, uh, I'm gonna go three old with... means just tired <laughs> listening to that shit, like... Six forty-five minutes. Yes. Forty-five, back. sixty minutes. Twenty hey, competitors. Six, my, you know, my wife's ten years younger than me, man. She be wanting them marathon sessions and shit, man. I, I be subject sometimes. I be thinking like, damn, I need to get me an extra nigga. In <laughs> shit, <laughs> man. A substitute. Damn, Tag nigga, your turn. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. I'm gonna sit over here. Go ahead, dude. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna look. Don't even go there. <laughs> I'll yeah, see y'all keep in it morning. down. Don't be too loud and yeah. shit. I ain't gonna fuck up my self esteem. <laughs> Hell yeah, 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 man. I need to, I need to, I need to be Listen. duplicated. I'm about to go to Sweden with, with some honey packs. Yeah. <laughs> they say we all gonna be on vacation. You goddamn Sweden's right. Game. Sweden's about to be the new goddamn Brazil. I don't know, man. Shit, they let me get on some of that goddamn Hennessy. You know, Hun- shit. Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we say it in Carolina. We don't that goddamn yeah. Hennessy. Shit. That brown liquor, my like brown, brown liquor, liquor motherfuckers. Yeah, man, that's shit. That's white, like, white Swedish dudes gonna be like, oh, here come these niggas. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here come the fucking ringers. Yeah, here come the Negroes <laughs> with the Hennessy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Pocket up. Here they come. Well, I mean, I guess probably, you know, African nations or, you know, man. black nations are probably gonna be banned from this sport because they said all nations. We're just gonna right? rule, rule that shit just like we do in. every. We're gonna dominate just like we do every other sport. Jamaica, Wait, all them niggas gonna be out there like, oh man, bring your sweetest it. bitches. You <laughs> <laughs> gonna be out like cool runners and shit. Bring, where the blonde head bitches at? <laughs> How many hours? I'm gonna need overtime. Sixty minutes ain't enough, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we'll dominate that shit just like we do every other sport, man. So I don't think they really want to take it there. It's gonna be all kind of. I guarantee you, if they let us go over, they're gonna be all kind of little beige, sweet and. Swedish babies. <laughs> By Swedish that babies. Motherfucker. Yeah. They're going to be a nigga nation. Before you know it, I'm like, damn. Sweet nigga. This is brown as <laughs> motherfucker. Right? <laughs> With the blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. That shit going to be gone. They're going to ban us for the Swedish sex sports. I promise you that shit. Put that shit in the Olympics, though. That should be lit. <laughs> sex, Olympics. sex Olympics. <laughs> I just want to know where you find that ad at. What freaky ass magazine or, or article was you reading? Even find that shit, sir. Uh, sir, I, I, my research is extensive. I've been doing this for going, <laughs> going on seven I years. Think, I think you're trying to go there on the low. So I'm, yeah, I I'm, think you're really trying. I, to. Don't I'm, be surprised, nigga. If you say that shit on my, <laughs> don't say shit. You already know I'm know, there. Man, you know, the spirit in Florida, Sweden, man. You know, I might buy a ticket to go. You know, just hey, to look. Hey. The spectator shit. goes to Sweden, Arizona. They don't go there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ikea is so, from Sweden. I'm going in to see the headquarters. Oh, okay. You wait, get wait. some shit put together. Right. <laughs> I'm going to get some furniture on break right there real quick. <laughs> what is that shit ragged? Right? Exactly. <laughs> Niggas just fucking on it. They're fucking on and it. And send it. Send that shit off. Yeah, it's ready. Wipe the cum oh, stain off. Man, that is gross. <laughs> They're talking about oral sex and penetration. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Chemistry. Yeah, that- I'm gonna have it's just there is such just thing as too much of, of something. That's yeah. just too much for me. That's just, I, I can't do it. You got to be a real freak to watch, watch some shit like that. There's a lot it. of freaky shit going on like that here in Atlanta, man. It's, I, once upon a time, swinging was, was real that popular. That shit still right? mean once upon a time. It's that still shit's popping, still, huh? Still popping. Nigga, there's still a whole man, place I, called Trapeze. Popping. Yeah, I tried to go to a swingers club, man, and I, I, I couldn't. You I couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get with nah, it? Nah, man. It's, I felt like the dude was looking, you know, like, I didn't know if he was, Looking at her, looking at me, and then one dude was trying to make my noise or something. Like, ooh, yeah. I'm like, hey. 
Thought you wanted them fucking sound effects, nigga. <laughs> you ain't doing it right, nigga. Let me do. Ooh, ah. I'm scared. He'll come on and try to push my ass down. Like, Hit her harder, harder. Get it beat down. Nah, I don't need no coach. Yeah. <laughs> nigga directed this shit. Yeah, I don't need no directors. And shit, <laughs> uh-uh. yeah, yeah, I heard a lot of weird stories of swinging joints. Yeah, man, I'm uncomfortable with that shit, man. All right, bro. Give him, give him all your social media stuff and any shows you got coming up. Oh man. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at Ivory the Comic. Uh, I'm on Facebook, of course, where the old niggas dwell. Uh, <laughs> Ivory Renard Corley on Facebook. Ivory Corley 2 is my alternate page. So I think I'm full. I'm about to delete some, get that dead weight off of my first page. I yeah, got, I hate I that got, shit. I always got to delete, motherfucker. You make 5,000. I got like 5,000. And then some of these niggas got like 9, 10 pages, man. I'm like, Facts. you know what? I'm That's not fair. about to follow you no more, sir. You Facts. got, what you do with the other eight pages? <laughs> That's why I used to stalk my baby mother, nigga. Don't worry yeah, about that I, shit. I got to get all that dead weight off of my page, man. And then, uh, of course, you know, I, uh, on the 17th, I'm at the uh, Bell Auditorium for the uh, in Augusta, Georgia. Okay. For the Legends of Comedy Tour. Um, ain't that many legends on the motherfucking show, but, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully legends in the making. Yeah, they got a lot of good people on there, though. Uh, you got Joe Torre on there. He's a legend. All right. Michael Blackson's a legend. All right. Shawty Shawty is an underground legend. All right, right, right. So I guess it is pretty, you know, pretty. ATL legend. But then they got Jess Hilarious on there, who's not really like a legend, but hey, you know, uh, she sells not, tickets, I guess. She's not that funny either, but yeah. she's fine in a motherfucker. Sorry, Jess, I love she's you. She's a cutie pie, man. Jess, I love and, you. And that's, that's my man. She put my man Greg, uh, Greg Langford on, you know what I'm saying? She did. She, Greg, she fought with, she fought with I Greg. I wait for Greg to come in town so I can put him on the show. But I yeah, think Greg, Greg is back, man. That's my guy. Greg hit me up on, on, on regularly, but schedule's conflict, but... Jess, love you, boo. Sexy the mouth with a chocolate ass. But, well, uh. Yeah, okay. But. Legend. <sighs> right. I don't know about that. <laughs> I ain't say he said. But yeah, that's at the Bell Auditorium in Augusta, Georgia. I'm so excited about that. Um, hopefully, the tickets are starting to move. It was kind of slow because some, some, some fucker named Kevin Hart don't decided you, to come in. Don't you hate that? And just. Bum rush the sound and the show and the set and just do a show two days before that show. And he just literally just threw that shit on the schedule like a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's, you know, I don't know who that guy is. I never heard of him. Yeah, you know, but, you hate uh, that? Yeah. But you nobody's just doing shit like yeah, that. Yeah, so some guy named Kevin Hart's going to be in town two days before that show. No, and well. then after that, I'm in my hometown, South Carolina, Aiken, South Carolina, uh, for Ivory Corley and Friends. So, you know, check me out. Just be on the lookout, man. I'm, I'm always trying to work. Yes, sir. You know follow his page. Follow his stuff. Support, support, support. Support, support, support. All right. Bro. Follow me. I got some stuff coming out. I'm going to start doing content soon. Facts. I got a whole other persona. That's what's that up. I'm, that I'm working on. It's actually like the real me. So, you know, it's, I think I think they're going to dig it when it, when yeah. it comes out. I had to jump and on I'm that also working on my too. own podcast, which I got to get you out of. It's called The Funny Black Truth. Please, it's please. pretty much the same format. Okay. Just talking to comedians, letting them discuss their funny black truth. You know, tell us a lot about themselves. Let me know. I'm with it. I got I'm you, all bro. about it. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the invite, man. Like you I said, this, this shit is nice, man. This is this like one of the nicest. Style. Like I said, if I'd known it was been this nice, I would have showered. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would have bathed before I came in this shit. Nah, this man, nice, you good. Bro. You got my blue on, all that shit, man. You definitely cripping up there. You're going to get a lot of crip motherfucking hey, audience man, members, hey, man. Hey, man, hey. All right. They gang banging in my hometown, man. That's I do not bang. I do not game. I had on red last time I was home. Oh, okay. And, and little young nigga ran up on me. Hey, hey, what that red blue? I said, shit. I, my friend said, make my lips go. <laughs> <laughs> what that red do for you? He <laughs> <laughs> was like, yo, just right. get your punk ass <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Don't be this shit. That's shit out here, right? <laughs> I'm like, you don't want to shoot me in the head. It's going to be a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow community. <laughs> pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Hey, man. The rainbow community. Them boys ain't no joke. Hey, you start dealing with them rainbow boys and he be holding an imaginary gun. Yeah, yeah, right. you know, you what gun what you gonna do? You got a little imaginary gun? What, don't, what that supposed to do, boo boo? Don't get your ass beat by one. Man, that will whoop your ass. You see a gay dude doing an imaginary gun? 
He will whoop your ass, fellas. Leave them boys alone. So what, what now? They hit you what with the, the hammer fist on top of your head. They're going to wail your ass up. You can't, you can't come home for that shit, nigga. That's oh, it. It's that, over. That goddamn windmill? <laughs> can't come home from this shit. It's oh, over. Shit. It's over for you. All right, you ready for the birthday, bro? Yeah. 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 We're going to go through all the birthday. Yeah, birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, All right, we yeah. got June 4th. Okay. The, the original birthday, light skin. Yeah, fucking uh, so originated so L. DeBarge. They don't him and his whole family turned 62. That's it. That's how, no, I'm just saying, that's that, 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 that was the original motherfuckers right there. Uh, you got Keith David, that's my guy. Man, that's you right there. Dawes holding down for Dawes, you niggas, man. Keith David said, no, I don't want them revolutionary niggas at all. <laughs> that's the coldest line ever. Oh no, I don't want them revolutionary niggas at all. I love Keith David. That's the Green Leaf series, my shit. I watched this movie. That's the end of the world up there. I'll be sure. Another light skin nigga. I'll be sure. 55. Oh, man, all the light skin niggas birthdays. Yes, sir. Angelina Jolie. She Angel. turns 48. Wow. You got man. June 5th. Brian McKnight turned 54. Shout out to Brian McKnight yes, standing sir. up, holding his own against his kids and shit. Yeah, his kids. He's trying to extort him and shit. Hell yeah. You know, you, sometimes you just gotta let go, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga say he fought. Got to pay old crib and pay their rent for two years. Two years! Grown ass people. And they still bitching. That's. Mark Wahlberg. He turns 52. Marky Mark. Uh, you got June 7th. Black. Right. June 7th. The, 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 the Mr. Uh, Liam Neeson himself. Oh. Uh, the goddamn. I don't know who you are. I have a particular set of skills. Think me a problem for people. When a nigga talk that calm and say he gonna fuck you up, <laughs> run. I will find you. Right. Okay. Run. <laughs> he turned 71. God damn, he's still kicking ass. <laughs> 71. He look good, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, he aging good for an old white man. They normally age that's like bananas on top of the goddamn refrigerator. They racism keep you preserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard he said some shit. He said some nigga shit. Yeah, oh, shit, you know, yeah. Yeah, so that'll keep it real preserved. I would be surprised if he didn't. He's a 70-year-old white man. I would be shocked if he's never used the N-word in his life. You got producer L.A. Reid. All right, L.A. He turned 67. Shout out to L.A. Reid. You got the one eye, one hit, one to Fetty Wap, 32. Oh, wow. 32. Yeah, 32. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, he is. Yeah, that nigga got six years, got six years in prison? Yeah, They're going to be Robert fucking him in his eye socket in that motherfucker, too. Hell yeah, nigga, I ain't never had no eye socket in my eye socket. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas want in on this shit? You got next? So you don't want me? Right. You don't, you don't want me skeet in it? All right, bet. You still on me bigger than motherfuckers. You see, you coming for real. God damn, baby. Six years in the eye socket. Don't, don't drop the eye, nigga. Oh, nigga, that's shit. That's that real shit. The retina. Y'all niggas old school out here fucking butts? Nigga, I got retinas out here, nigga. <laughs> you got June 8th, you got my man, man. This, is, this dude is definitely a pioneer. Put his whole family on Keenan Ivy Wayne. He turned 65. Oh, shout out to Keenan Ivy Wayne. This is a legend. I never got to meet him, man. I wish I could meet I him. Go to him him and Damon. Yes. Damon Wayne's a funny motherfucker. Man, he's a monster. That dude's a beast on stage. Do you feel I, 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 <coughs> Another one on my list. Damon's definitely a monster. Um, you got the uh, Cooper Bird himself, Kanye. He turns 46. Oh, man, y'all about to leave my man Kanye alone, right? All right, that nigga out here with shoulder pad t shirts. Man, that nigga had on some like <laughs> slim slocks, socks, <laughs> legging as, footy boots shoes. with shoulder pads on. This is like a fucking ninja. Man, I, I, I miss the old polo wearing Kanye. Yeah, that's please, with a book bag. Yeah, with the knapsack, man. That's just, Put the no, collar up, come on. Yeah, let's go man. back to the man. Yeah, I need him back. I need polo. Uh, you're not the, I don't know what the fuck he had on the other day. A billion dollars do that to you. I'd be weird in the motherfucker too, nigga. If I had a billion, I probably wouldn't even wash, nigga. That'd be the Flies all over me. Flies and shit. Bitch, he's still black. Yeah, oh, he's, he's so, so sexy. sexy. Ooh, he got some good looking flies on him. The flies compliment your eyes, nigga. Is that a green fly? <laughs> that nigga flies green. Right. <laughs> you got exotic flies. <laughs> 
Oh, no, no foreign? Let me see if from Botswana. What kind of flowers are those? Oh, Sweaty boy, they don't give a damn. He got a million dollars. I know I wouldn't wear Hell yeah. I would never shave my head again. Y'all see all this representation of my motherfucking ball patches. I wouldn't give a fuck. Right. <laughs> What's that patch right there? What that mean? <laughs> you got a uh, June 9th uh, actor, Giant Depp. That's Johnny my guy. Depp. Oh, man. He turned 60. Yeah, he's been looking strange since that girl's shit in his head. Yeah, that was his wife, right? Yeah, that woman yeah. took a shit in his bed. That nigga's court and case was hilarious. And he didn't even get a new bed, nigga. Like, he kept the same bed. The nigga got an island, though. He got, he got a $25 he million got, island. He got somebody shit in his bed, bro. Like, he need to go back to that island. He ain't got a whole island. She shit in his bed, bro. Shit, sometimes they happen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> June 10th, you got rapper D.O.C. Uh, Turns 55. D.O.C., that's like, yo, people that got in his accident. Yeah, he been big. He been crazy. I don't know what's going on. He's like a, you know, he did a lot of writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people, man. Exactly. And, you know, he had sex with Erica Badu. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, Erica Badu had a baby. We did talk about that. <laughs> he went down the magic rabbit hole. God. He went down a rabbit hole, nigga. Everybody that not have some of that Badula is oh, a weirdo Who the now, fuck is calling now at the end of the goddamn show? Who is that? I was curious. Thank you for calling Mr. Zakami. Late than the motherfucker. Who is this? This is Chrissy Hines calling from Bronx, New York City. What's Chrissy up? Hines in the Bronx. What up? What up, though? I'm your 170 on University in Ogden. Where you at out there? We up here in the Boogie Down Production. We up here in the North Bronx. The North Bronx. I'm from the South Bronx. What for Data Morris Avenue, Grand Concourse. <laughs> what up? Oh, I'm up here on White Plains Road. Oh, you way up. You oh, damn near. You almost, is, yeah. you almost out the city, girl. Yeah. You a country girl. White Plains. <laughs> <laughs> what up? What's with a on? city, with a city reputation. I, I used to go to a Jamaican club out there called Act Three. On White Plains Road. That was the. Is that still open? That's the first you know time I've seen somebody. I know. Do a that butterfly. one, no. I oh. don't know about those Jamaican joints. The only <laughs> ones that I do up here in New York is like Mingles, maybe. And, you oh. know, that's the only Jamaican club in New York that. Well, that was, that's the first time I ever seen somebody twerk and standing on their head. So, yeah, yeah that's. That sounds right. That's, that's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you must have yeah. been in the dance hall. Yeah. That's what he was. He was there. He was there with Patrick and shit. Yeah, man. That's yeah, what I was Yeah, yeah. I mean, we was funky than a motherfucker leaving out of there, too, man. <laughs> you will sweat in <laughs> the dance hall. Oh, God, I knew I was. You like, will sweat in yeah. the dance hall. It's guaranteed. It's a good time. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So, what you got? So, yo, we got this. We had this. Mist that's coming down. It done already hit us, man. I thought we was in the uh, War of the Worlds, man. I was crying. Shout out to y'all, man. I just fucking say y'all could sue Drake and Canada in 20 years for me, so Dilioma. Y'all in a good we're... position right now. Oh, man. Like, who was cray, 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 cray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, y'all been staying inside, though, right? Yeah, we've been standing up, but it, it, it'll clear out, and then it'll come back again, and it's like, yo, put the blood on the door. Damn, you're not, pa not Passover. Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you remember this time, man. You remember Pharaoh times where Pharaoh didn't yeah, exactly. let the Egyptians yeah. go, yeah. and the fog came through, man? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Well, y'all ain't getting no motherfucking... It is real. It's happening. It's right before our eyes. We just going through it. Praying for you, Praying for real. My mom and everybody called me and told you about it, so yeah. I still got tons of family out there. Yeah, I got family like right past you, like in, in Ossining, New York, and all that stuff. Mm. Over by the no, prison. Nah, it's, it's in New York City, New York. Oh, yeah, wow. You no, know, it'll, it'll, make it'll make its way around. It's, it's fucking clouds yeah, got, it, But it's coming, in, in, and it's coming across. It's coming across, I like Philly. They said it's some parts in Georgia. It's so, I don't think it's going to hit Florida. Yeah, and I don't, it may not, Philly. but... I just love Philly. No wonder everybody was acting like assholes. <laughs> Bro, I'm so telling sick. you, and I think something is, I don't know, man. It just, I don't know. It's just too high to get over, too low to get under. Okay. Damn. All right, so you a comedian? Uh, part-time. <laughs> That's why I keep my full-time job. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, if you're in 11 Atlanta, let me know. We maybe get you on the show, all right? 
All right, then. You guys stay up and stay proud. Hey, I appreciate yeah, you, Thanks sister. for calling in, baby. All right, blessings upon blessings. Yes, ma'am. Blessings ma upon blessings, sister. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. We, if y'all niggas thought it was a game, I told y'all. <laughs> we international. We, we in different cities. I th keep playing. Yeah, right. <laughs> this ain't no game. I told right. you, I'm out here in Atlanta. We, we seen. Right. Niggas calling from New York and all types of shit. Miami. Well, we had a couple of Niggas had no all types of uh, international Miami, all types of shit. Cut it out. All right. Yeah. When I when I get y'all a call and say, "Hey, come through," it's real shit. They don't respect you, your game. They don't yeah. respect. Salute to you, brother. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. August to make seven shit. years, man. Yeah. Seven years. Wow. Yeah, come through. Lucky number eleven. Niggas is the watching. <laughs> at all times, I promise well, you. You got the setup here, man. It's nice, man. You you are definitely uh, an influence to me, young brother. I appreciate. And I appreciate it. the invite, man. No, no doubt, no I'll doubt. Definitely no come doubt. back whenever you need me. Absolutely, I appreciate you for mm -hmm. coming through. Yeah, I don't have no social life, and I'm only 15 minutes away. You might get tired of seeing me. I'll be. Nah, <laughs> nah. Say, say less. Yeah. Say less. Hey. <laughs> On Same. your Wednesday. Right. <laughs> there might be other shows on other days. Right. right. I appreciate y'all. All right, we got Faith Evans says 50. Oh, and God. you love that shit, that shit thing? That's it? That was it for you? Boy, I had the biggest crush on fucking Faith. I got to meet her when I first came here, too. Yeah, I mean, one she after was... Stevie J, the man ran through it, but yeah. Uh, now, nah, this is way before. Oh, oh, this was okay. like 2002, some shit like that. Mm, okay. Yeah, she yeah, just yeah. just dropped another CD. Ooh. See, the CDs was out. That's how long. Yo. Yeah. She signed my CD and she said something to me. And I, you I, melted. Kidding, yeah, I just lost it. All I can hear is her. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just in a whole nother state. Shout out to Faith. She's got Faith. The, Faith. the dopest voice. She does. I got to see Faith perform <laughs> at Vegas Nights in Marietta. Vegas, no, shout out to Vegas Nights. That's a legendary club, y'all. Yes. Young ones don't know about that. I saw Faith perform there. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, Kanye performed there. Did he? He did Jesus Walk. We're up in that joint. Nice. And killed it with the polo and the backpack on. Came that's the Kanye we need Tore that back. shit down and left. That's so the Kanye that, we need back. That's a legendary. That's when Atlanta didn't close so early. Facts. I remember those you know days. Saying? I remember Atlanta I didn't even it. close. Yeah. Like, and I lived in South Carolina. Atlanta didn't close. Like, we used to leave the club in Augusta, Georgia and drive to Atlanta. We'd get here 4.35 in the morning. Get to this joint called Club anytime, and that shit still be open. Nah, I don't remember those days. I, when I got here, motherfuckers closing at two, three in the morning. No, I'm talking about all night, bro. Yeah, I don't like, remember that. I we getting out. Uh, 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 the sun and the yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Slick. When she was, cause she from yeah. like, she like, hey, get the clothes. Yeah, cause yeah. I was like, y'all niggas doing what? We just going to the club at twelve. I gotta get there before ten to get in for free. Yeah, man. That shit whack. Need to twelve to go to right. the club. Like, <laughs> right, Atlanta used to not close, bro. Yeah, yeah. Club anytime. That's any. ATL legend or, or somebody my age from ATL about that. So they say it was after out of spot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what's up. All the strippers used to be there. This is wild, bro. Nice, it's wild nights. All right, y'all, 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 y'all seen what it is? We had my man Ivy Corley in the crib, yeah, in the spot. All right, bless us with these laughers. Make sure you follow pages. It's the last time you gonna Aiken. shout y'all niggas out because once he blow up, yeah. we ain't hey, never gonna I hear y'all shit again. I ain't no more, but I love y'all. Okay. You know, and I love, hey, hey I love everybody. They used to have swingers party at Aiken. Oh, Did they? You get, out, you get out the highway and go to the little hotel right there. Oh. I yeah. heard about that too. He knows about. I heard oh. about that. Let me find out. I heard about hey, that. Don't do it no more next, though. Next, <laughs> I, oh, shit, never mind. I know the hotel he's talking about yeah. too. <laughs> it's a real sleaze ball ass right. hotel, it, but it's right off of the interstate. The pools in the center is like a square. Oh, I know exactly. So you, everything's inside. You can't see. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Inside of the mission. Right, right, you heard. Right, right, you heard. <laughs> wait, wait. That's what I heard in the that's story. What, that's what you had heard about one time. You know, I was sitting around right. the folks, they were talking. Yo, right. Man, so yeah. I just ear hustled. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. right, 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 right. Man, you know, down in the right. country, man, there ain't too much things you can do, man. You can drink, smoke, and fuck. fuck. Right. So, you know, I, I guess it. they did all three in that one area. <laughs> I, I guess. In the groups, you know. Yeah. From what you heard. From what I heard. I don't know what happened inside, but right, from right. what I heard, it was going down. So well, shout out to everybody down there, man. I love everybody, even my haters down there. I still love y'all. Oh, uh, man. Especially my people that support me on this journey. You know what it is. All right. We're going to represent y'all until I die. So catch y'all next Wednesday. All right. But if you want to watch the episode again, if you missed it, I don't know why you would do some stupid shit like miss it. You can watch it on Instagram, Misfits of Comedy, Facebook, Misfits of Comedy. You can watch us on Roku TV. 
Pandora, Amazon Music, Spotify, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, MixCloud. Uh, what else we got? Google Play. Mm-hmm. You can watch us on or listen to it on. What am I missing? Uh, you actually can listen to it on all major, all major podcast platforms. platforms. Period. Even some of the ones that don't accept podcasts anymore, like Tune In. <laughs> Tune In. All right, so we on everything. There's absolutely no reason for you not to hear it or see it. You can watch this episode over and over as much time as you want to. I know I'm going to watch this shit like uh, as many times as I can as I like seeing myself on the <laughs> I do the you same shit, so I, and I come here every I week. I love seeing that. <laughs> this is my you, first. You know this nigga makes sex tapes. <laughs> yeah, right. you, 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 love, you know what nigga who makes yeah, right. I love. Man. I said that nigga emphasize. I said they got a fucking VHS worth of sex tapes. My, my new sex tapes are underwhelming. <laughs> Trust me, I'm old, I'm fat. <laughs> Last one I made, I ain't know who the fuck that was in the video. I liked, I thought my wife was cheating on me. Nigga. I'm like, the who sex tapes gonna have, nigga, have substitutes now. Yeah. Come on, nigga. <laughs> Chocolate, right? Right. <laughs> like a melted snowman. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Catch y'all next week Wednesday. Peace. Uh Chris Classic. 2016. Uh first of all, I'm a new York nigga. New kicks, new chicks, and new fitty. You could put me anywhere, I'ma kick it. 125th G depth, let's get it. I hate when niggas say you make real hip hop I will still fuck your bitch in Gucci flip flops The problem is if I say anything intelligent You call it conscious like it's somehow not relevant I agree that this ain't really for KOD But say la vie out the bows in the SUV